I've got no roots, but my home was never on the ground. I've got no roots, but my home was never on the ground. Waking up in the morning is a real struggle, so make sure your alarm goes off several times so that you can avoid the real world for as long as possible. Hey guys, welcome to my tutorial. So first things first, I'm just going to flip my hair and try and look cute even though I look like a troll. Now I'm just going to show off this onesie for as long as possible so that you guys all comment on it in my comments and compliment me. Hint hint. Not all of us are blessed with hair that actually wants to behave for us. My hair, for example, likes to fluff up and get huge, so we just kind of got to deal with it. I sometimes find the corpses of my enemies and all sorts of fun things in my hair. Now, like my life, my makeup has no rhyme or reason, so I'm just going to look around for it for quite a while because I don't know where anything is and it's just a total mess. No real idea how to properly do makeup so we're just gonna start with this concealer that I got at Walmart it's called Glamouflage <laughs> get it that's so funny and I put it on with like this little brush thing so I'm just gonna put some on the brush and it's not gonna focus properly so yeah anyways just put some on the brush and put it on your face and then we're just gonna use our hands because the brush doesn't do it well enough not that my hands do anyways but this is just how I do it because I don't know what I'm doing and I'm pretty mediocre at makeup haha <laughs> So you want to make sure to put this on your pimples, which seem to pop out at the most inconvenient times, especially when you have to do class presentations. It's just like your body knows when to make you look like crap. So just slather this on those pimples and we're going to try to hide them, but everyone still knows they're there. Concealer doesn't conceal enough, so we're just going to throw on some liquid foundation. I've personally had this one for about 8 years, but you know it still does the job and I don't really want to spend money on anything but horses, so who cares, right? I put it on this little sponge thing that I just bought for pennies. It doesn't really do that good of a job, but again, as a broke college student, who really cares what you look like, right? The next thing we're going to do is put on some powder foundation just to set this. I don't really know what that means, but I've heard beauty people say that, so I'm just going to use that terminology anyways. Anyways, I put it on this big fluffy brush that's called a kabuki brush, I think. Again, I don't really know what I'm talking about, so don't really listen to what I'm saying. Now I'm just going to make funny faces at the camera to try and be funny and relatable and distract you guys from how bad I am at makeup. The next thing we're going to do is put on some bronzer from Sephora, and the only reason I have the Sephora bronzer actually is because it was given to me as a present. Don't be fooled, I wouldn't spend this much money on a bronzer on my own, haha. <laughs> so the next thing we're going to do is our eyebrows, and I like to use this little pasty eyebrow stuff, I don't really know what it's called, and this brush that someone bought for me and told me was for my eyebrows. So that's the only reason that I kind of know that it's for my eyebrows. So anyways, we're just going to try to draw these on, but remember, I'm no artist, so these might look like Dr. Seuss eyebrows, but that's okay. People think Dr. Seuss is awesome, and so are you. Look at how silly I am. I can raise one eyebrow. Haha, <laughs> look at my eyebrows. Wow. Compliment me. Oh my god, makeup. So I just like to do duck lips before showing you things because I've seen other beauty vloggers do that. So anyways, we're going to use this Naked palette. It's an Urban Decay palette from Sephora. And again, I only have this because I was given a gift card. I just want to be honest so that you guys aren't fooled into thinking that I'm classier than I am. Haha. <laughs> I watched some girl on YouTube that said to put on a light shade first, so that's what I'm just going to do now, and she put it up to her eyebrows, so I think that's what I'm supposed to do too. And um, the shade that I'm using is called Virgin, so maybe I shouldn't be using it. <laughs> I'm just going to look at this palette for an overly long time to try to decide what color to do next, because I'm not naturally gifted at this stuff. The shade that I ended up choosing is called Buck, and I picked that one because that's probably what my horse is going to do when I try to ride him today. Slather Buck on there and hope for the best. 
I look pretty. So the next shade that I chose is called Smog, but I'm not going to really let you get a good look at it because if you can't see the color, then you'll have a harder time judging my decisions. Using your camera screen to do your makeup is highly recommended because it's confusing and makes you do your makeup worse. So yeah, I have no idea really how to do this accent color, but I just kind of put it on the outside of my eye and hope for the best, and then I blend it really messily. Feel when you got enough makeup on that you're like, whoa, who's that? So now it's eyeliner time. I've had this eyeliner for so long that the brand has worn off. I like to use an eyeliner pen because this is the only one that I can seem to manage without completely messing it up. When you try your best but you don't succeed Sometimes you make mistakes and as Bob Ross would say, that's okay. So we're just going to scrub at that with a Q-tip and that'll get it all off. <sighs> okay. So it should get it off just perfectly. If you look like you have a bit of a black eye, that's okay. Your horses aren't going to care what you look like. Okay, so now I'm back with my game face on. So naturally I'm going to use the camera screen again to try to do this because it didn't work the first time. Thank God eyeliner is over. Now it's time to start mascara. So I'm just going to hold this up really cutely and do some moves. And then I'm going to smile and look like I'm having a blast while I put this on. We're going to do about a million coats of this or until it looks like your eyelashes are completely fake. That's the way I like it. Perfect. Now your eyes look all pretty and done up for animals that aren't going to give a care about what you look like. This was totally worth the time it took. So now we're just going to throw on a light tinted lip gloss because it's really important to look really nice for animals that roll in their own poop. Okay, so now you're all made up and ready for the barn to go look better for your horses than you do for your actual boyfriend. But the thing is that if your boyfriend's already committed and seen you what you look like without makeup, he can't leave you now. So he's trapped. Now, as much fun as looking like a lion or some sort of wild animal is, we need to fix that hair. So if I don't have time to shower in the morning, what I do is spray this detangling spray in my hair and then run a brush through the vines that are my hair. And just basically hope for the best because as I said, sometimes my hair has a mind of its own and it will fight back. Kidding. That was all the ideal makeup tutorial. What I really do is I wake up about half an hour before I need to be leaving. I drag myself into the bathroom. I pull my hair back. I throw a hat on, throw the rest of my barn clothes on, and I leave.